Australia and now representing France in the blue is Teddy Rina. Ilse Bayer there, as you can see, being shadowed by this amazing athletic build of Teddy Rina. As he draws, Rina drawing his opponent's head down. He's got that long reach on the right-hand side. The arm over the top takes the high collar of the gi. Ops for the lapel at this moment, but as you can see, as he's trying to reach forward to take his opponent's right sleeve. Teddy Rina towering over the Mongolian. Zibaya trying to get past those very strong defenses and the claws of the Frenchman. As you can see that arm reaching over the back there, controlling quite nicely the left shoulder of his opponent. Now he takes the sleeve. That's a real battle and the Mongolian really not happy at all. So he picks up the second Shido, but along with Teddy Reiner taking the first. Well, an exchange of grips that went a little bit horribly wrong there. And um, Ilse Bayer on the receiving end of that um, exchange of grips. Obviously not intentional. Kripelik there in the crowd, watching on very closely. Teddy Reiner once more, that right hand over the top, controlling the high collar. Oso Tagari, those long legs starting to reach through. He's got the sleeve grip, the one that he's been trying to get throughout this contest, past couple of minutes, trying to draw his opponent's head down, frustrating the Mongolian, and no ends. The ash he was, Asasai Sukuri Komi Ash, Following down, scores a Ippon. And a little bit of a soft Ippon, but nevertheless, Ippon that takes him through to the third round of the plus 100 kilograms. And the Ippon is... Awarded to Teddy Rina, who goes through to the next round of the plus 100s. And here's the highlights. A very focused world and Olympic champion. And a lovely finish there with the upon as he plants the Mongolian flat on his back. Lovely rotation, good control with the feet. Climbs on board on top of the Mongolian to make sure that he secures the Epon.